Just a super quick video on these two components I got. Uh, please forgive me, I'm really new to all this, so I don't even totally know what I'm doing. Um, I bought these to use for another project um, that needs 55 kilohertz. So I was planning on using this function generator along with an amplifier for that project. This is the FG100, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. Function generator, it's on Amazon and eBay. Um, I saw another YouTuber mention that this is sends out pretty much a crap sine wave signal past um, 10,000 hertz, I guess one kilohertz. Um, but I found that it's actually not too bad. I mean, it's, it's not very good, but it's not too bad. And then um, this little oscilloscope is, you know, kind of one of those open source deals, DSO, uh, DS0138. Um, seems to work pretty good. So right now we're on 2000 hertz, and I'll just do sine waves for this, I think. And um, so this is showing, you know, 2000 um, hertz, or, or 2 kilohertz, and so it seems fairly accurate. Um, you know, we can look at it a little more closely if we want, um, or change some of our volt levels here, how we're looking at it. Um, this thing here has a built-in amplifier of sorts, so right now um, we're cranked about two-thirds of the way up, I'd say, to get this waveform. It looks like uh, about five volts RMS there. So, you know, we can we can dial it down until we get, we can't even recognize it. And then we can go back up. And then we can go, this is up all the way maximum. So that's what we get at 2000. Uh, it's got this DC offset button, which I honestly don't even know what it does. If I push it down, the waveform jiggles, but then returns to normal. And I realized if I push it down just part of the way, there we go, we can get it to change to some kind of square wave-ish type pattern or a clipped uh, triangle wave. Um, it's got, uh, actually it's probably because if I push it down in the DC offset, then I can change this dial. There we go, and offset it. So let's see if I let it up. Yeah, okay, that's what it does. So a little offset uh, to bias it one side. Um, power, mode changes the waveform. There's other videos on all this. Cursor moves your selection around, run, stop. If I hit the filter button, not much seems to change, at least at this level. I mean, really not much changes at all. Um, I think there's a way I can kind of, there we go, pause this. Okay. So we'll just adjust this real quick and, um, so we'll hit stop, hit the cursor button, and um, let's go up to the uh, 10,000 hertz. Okay, we'll hit run. So this is the kind of wave we're getting, and I'm just going to turn down this amplitude on here. So this is at 10,000, we're just going to kind of pause that. That's what it's looking like, and um, I think I can kind of adjust the sensitivity a little too. Okay, and there's our amplitude. This is all the way up. You can see it, it kind of ruins the shape of the wave. Um, we're on a sensitivity of one volt right now. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up. Turn this down a little. Nah, we don't want to do that. Let's keep that at one change our amplitude back up a little bit okay and let's uh we're at point 0.1 so now we're at there we go and so that's the kind of wave we're getting right now at 10 kilohertz um, and you can see it's actually fairly accurate you know we're showing 10 kilohertz there and that's what we input over here so let's go ahead and change this to my 55. Oops. So now we can see how you change the wave form. But I want to do sine. And we want to go um, 55 kilohertz. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, so now we're at 55,000 hertz, 55 kilohertz. We're gonna kind of unpause that deal. We're gonna try to zoom in a little more. That's the most we can zoom in. We're gonna turn up our amplitude. And um, so if I pause it, we're looking at kind of a triangle waveform. It's not very good, but at least it's something. Um, we crank our amplitude up all the way. Let's see what we get. More triangle looking. Let's bring it back down a little. So that evens it out, but it looks like we're getting some clipping on one side. Um, and we don't have that offset on. So um, and we can turn up our sensitivity on the oscilloscope. Let's go up even more. No, that's a little too high. Okay. So, that's not horrible. It's not very good. If we turn the amplitude down on our signal generator, let's see what we can get. So it's showing 55-ish kilohertz. Maybe a plus or minus, like 1% accuracy. So, kind of a sh strange shaped waveform. Kind of between triangle and sine, I guess. Anyways, is it worth it? You're going to have to be the judge if it'll meet your project needs. Um, this works pretty good for the money, um, although after using it, and I've never used another oscilloscope, I would like these labeled so that I can better know what I'm doing. <laughs> And then um, this guy here, would I buy it again? Probably only if I needed it for the really low frequencies. Um, for what I'm doing, I wouldn't take the risk, even though this was this was only like 20 bucks um, when I bought it. I would end up buying a, a nicer one that uses, I think it's the AD9833 chip. Um, but but under you know 10k hertz, it's not too bad. So if you want to keep watching, we'll go down again, see what it looks like. Stop this. We'll bring this down to zero. Okay, yeah, let's just see what um, 5,000 hertz looks like. So we're gonna need to back out a little bit. And we didn't move our sensitivity. So that's what we're getting at 5,000 hertz. Kind of a chopped up sine wave. Some definitely some noise in there. Um, the other guy who did the review on this, and I'll try to find the video link, he said that that this function generator generates the waves from the microprocessor. There's not any sort of dedicated IC for these waves. And that's why you get the choppiness, and that's why it can only go so high. So, bring it up a little bit. Oops. Okay, so again, this is, you know, 5,000 hertz. Let's stop that. Go to 3,000. So, still pretty messy, honestly. I mean, not a beautiful sine wave. Um, whoa. And so it, this amplifier tends to really mess up that waveform. So you can get it, you know, somewhere around whatever, around here. It's not too bad. Let's see if we go to 10 millivolt. Okay, let's go down even more. Go down to a thousand. Running at a thousand hertz. So there we go. There's a, a fairly nice wave. Um, 
A little bit of noise. Or, or jiggling of that wave. Don't know what's happening there. Okay, um, at a thousand, if I crank this up all the way, we can get VRMS of eight volts. That goes down the higher up we go. Just so we know, I'm gonna go back here again once. Let's just turn it up to like a hundred thousand. Let's do a, um, yeah. Thousand hertz. Stick a one in here, see what happens. Okay, so now we've got what is that? A hundred kilohertz. And you can see this guy's showing 25 kilohertz, so I'm not sure what gives there. If we go in all the way as much as we can, hit OK. Believe it or not, the wave is not too bad. <laughs> Let's turn down the amplitude a little bit on this guy. If we crank the amplitude all the way up on here, we're getting 0.24 volts RMS. So for whatever reason, as the frequency goes up, the, the volts delivered goes down. Alright, let's hit stop. Let's just change it to square wave. Let's put zero here. Let's do a thousand hertz. Okay. And we're going to turn down the amplitude a little bit on this. So not a bad square wave at a thousand hertz. Let's try my 55 kilohertz. Okay, looks pretty nasty from here. Yeah, totally not a square wave. Okay, that's what we're getting right now. We're going to turn up the sensitivity on the scope. Whoa. Now we're going to go back. Play with the amplitude on here. Yeah. It's all nasty for a square wave. Can't do it. Anyway, good luck to you guys. Hopefully this helped you. Oh, by the way, this power supply is not very good. Um, the adjustment for the milliamps doesn't really go below um, 70 milliamps. Um, you know, the dial will turn, but there's really no real finesse um, to the milliamps for one. And for another, it won't even go below 70 for the most part. Um, in higher voltage, voltage applications with a current draw of over 1 amp, it won't go below 100 and 50, yeah, 150, 170 milliamps. It won't let me tone down the current. So that's, that's this guy right here. They probably sell it by a few different names. I'll include the link. Um, it does go to 60 volts. I think this was a five amp. Um, for really basic things, it's, it's pretty, it's okay. But you know, you can only use it for so much.